So let's check out what you have here. Um, I think it's really cool. And uh, I'm going to look at your left guy first. And I'll leave the sound on just for myself here. Let's go again here. I love everything. It's so cool. And I love that little impact there. Just that little. It's not too big, not too crazy. If I would be super picky, I would say the both shoulders go at the same time. So I would reduce one by like 30-40% and also uh, make it a framework till later. Probably two. Eh, maybe one. Because it's so small, one might be enough. You just want it to, to twin, but... And that way it doesn't make it that big. It's great. Once you loop it, it feels a bit big. But the first time around, I was more looking at his face. So that would be my picky note there. And then on anything, you know, while this happens, that, that little moment, uh, there could be like the thumb could come down a bit, the fingers could just kind of clench a tiny, tiny bit, almost like a little pixel movement on the knees, like he's doing something. Again, not to do it. Oh, I'm seeing my camera. This is nostril view today. Um, so something where his hands, you know, they, they do like a little, just a, a slight adjustment and the knees can just kind of come in and out. Just something where you, we can see that it is moving. Like I'm going through here and as I'm scrubbing, you can see how this, it ends here. So just for your next pass, but this is it's so cool. I really like it. As you look down, the different looks after that are great. Let's watch this again. Yeah, it's really cool. One more time. It feels like, watch his chin. I'm being super picky here. He goes back, forward, stops a bit, and forward again. And right now it feels like a, a, little, a little pop. But I like that he stops. I like that it's not all spliny up and down. So if... It looks like your curve is doing something and you get like a double key or something, maybe going up a bit and down. I would just make it so that it flattens out a bit and it continues. So you actually have that pause, but it still kind of drifts down and it continues. It's a, it's a bit more deliberate and again, by like two frames, three maybe, something super small. But just to get a bit more than that little stop there. All right, let's look at her. I'm not sure about that blink. Like, I love all this. I love the timing of this Mac. You get good stuff there in the legs. The breathing's great. Yeah, to me, the biggest things um, are her blinks and the way she stops her hands. It comes to a fairly quick stop. You can track her fingers. Goes back, goes back goes back boom and then pretty much nothing there might be like one more thing here no not even so it feels like that goes back boop, and give this like something and then she can she can go back like and she can go back and then have kind of a stop slot soft and then adjust her hands like that potentially if you want to get away from a super flat pose oh wait I'm in drawing mode here let me get out there you go so she goes back and then she has that, which which could still work. So that way her hand, her fingers could be here. When the hand goes up, she can kind of lower those other fingers. Um, so it feels like, okay, right, back and then a little, a little grip. Again, I'm talking tiny, but just to get away from, and then that stickiness and then nothing going on in the fingers. I feel like if I go back, like there might be one more. Like one more little pause and a little little clenching of the fingers. Not like because of it being tight, just kind of a little adjustment. I think that would be really cool. It's great. Love, love the breathing. Stuff on the hips that goes back. It's great. I'm going here. I mean, these little things I mentioned, this guy's done. And for her. I think the biggest thing are her blinks. It feels like she's doing... Where my camera is? It feels that deliberate. She goes... Oh. You could have... You know, it starts off like that, and then you got that... 
uh, ease into halfway down close and then hold that probably for the same amount and then you want to open up where it's just really easing out of that and then you go halfway and my eyes get smaller and smaller in this regard this guy and then you get to you know around here and then it will go all the way up to here but over like five frames so it's kind of like get that close slowly opening opening but then soft with the ending otherwise it feels again a bit too mechanical and given the range that you have you know you're you're ending on something like this so when my top of the eye was like this just adjust accordingly just the same principle of easing out of that close and soft hold soft opening open with the soft ending if that makes any sense if that makes no sense, by the way, you can send me the Maya file and I can go in there. And then... I feel like, just for contrast, the understand could be bigger. Only because right now the mouth is kind of the same value in terms of how big it gets. And the stand is right here and I feel just... She's kind of looking straight here, she's shaking. We wouldn't quite see all the shakes because there's a lot of movement. And here she relaxes and gets kind of profile -y. And imagine um, that lower lip, you know, just being lower. She's, she's opening the jaw a lot more on stand. I don't understand. And it's kind of also an emphasize for her. Like, oh, stand. And that will give us a nice little contrast, a good little silhouette there. And you probably, for cartoony's sake, you know, she hits that pose mouthwise, and then once you get to here, it's kind of even. Could be, you know, one side is a bit more in spin. That makes no sense. This drawing makes no sense. Basically, it's more like, like you know, one corner out more. And the second blink, same thing. It was the opening. I will make it a bit faster and it feels like your hold. This is kind of a, I will make the first one a hold. It's kind of like, and then it's, it's, just, it's a blink and she's observing him waiting for his answer. So I will keep this to, let's see if I can cut that out. I will cut out the, um, the, uh, the closed part. All right. Gets the close. And then that guy. That looks good. Uh -huh. Cut this. Let's see. It's already better. Yeah. And now it's still ease into the ending. It still feels a bit mechanical on the opening. You know, kind of relax into it. But for this, I cut out, as you can see, it goes from 78 to 81 on the blink. I think that would help. Let's go back. I love her finger moves, by the way. She relaxes the fingers. Has that little move there. Yeah, just what I mentioned there. And then this guy's done. It's really cool. Picky, one more thing, watch out. Once she hits that back part here, I feel you rotate too much out of this point. And you can do more in here and a bit less in this. It's like, like a crane coming down right there. This feels a bit big. She has such a big, long neck. And then track her nose. Just doing this section here, it feels a bit drifty. Like, and it feels less like a, a move that's on purpose. She goes back and goes, it could just be a bit sharper and it ends with a roll down on the head. Yeah, just a bit drifty there. And if you want to push it, you can argue that you can go down and do like a bigger head cock there. So he goes back and that's a more deliberate look. Maybe not that deliberate, but something where she goes back and has a bit of a contrast at the end. 
Again, I'm saying that's a shop right here, but you could try it. There's a little bit of it in there, and you can just make it a bit more deliberate. So go back, and then it's a, it's a more deliberate. All right, come on, what's going on here? All right, hold on. Let me cut this out. And then you mentioned you just hit spline on that guy. Let's see, watch this. Oh, my frames here. What did I do? There you go. Yeah. That's good. Is she looking down? See, watch out. She's looking. No, this is the. This is the beginning. Let's see. I guess. I guess. Yeah, she is looking around here. Word. Yeah, I was. I was slightly reading it. I still hear because she goes back and goes, and she's watching him. You know, like, what's your, what's your reaction to all this? I just told you all that stuff, and so what, what do you think? And I think you could start, like that, where she is higher, and has the moment of looking down, and then back up. Let's see. You know, she could be looking at him and go, "Friends are supposed to feel good," and back up, like looking really. Well, I think, but you know, you know where she, she looks at him, waits for the reaction, goes down, has that realization, and then looks back up to finish it. So it could be on feel, she could go back up to look at him. It's just a suggestion. Because right now it's not massive. I see a sideways with a tiny up. And I think that would be cool because that way it doesn't look like she's just delivering a, a line. There's more of a thought process in there, like really, oh, man, well, uh, and then explains that. I think in terms of the way you got spine, it's already in a good position. I think what you have with the the head accents is good. I would just tighten it up. Especially having them, just having them, and then it's kind of drifty down. But there's not, nothing major that I would change. That, you know, technical things like those adjustments, which is doing with her fingers. It's a little poppy moment. This might be a bit big, how you go up with this shoulder and down with this shoulder. Um, it's a bit like it's a technical term it's just happening at the same time it feels more like a massive massive rotation in both guys and at the same time you have this drag in her hands it feels like it pivots off those fingers if you scrub through so it kind of kind of freezes in there and it's kind of pivoting off that so you would have to change the, the speed of this hand to not make it stick as much now in terms of overall gesture I think, yeah, this might be too on the nose. I was thinking that on point, she, might, she makes the bigger gesture. So she goes, it's probably good. Yeah, no, I guess it's probably good. The point of having them, it's having them could have a, that shrug, let's see. I think you could shrug more on having them. Yeah, I mean, I like what you have. Probably just on having them. Like, ha! Ah, so it drives also that sound, but having them. So I think that I would add. Yeah. And then, you know, face wise, as you end this, this is a very inquisitive, like, so, like, what's going on here? Um, she's a bit wall eyed, uh, like The Simpsons, <laughs> putting her eyes in a bit. Uh, and think about how you want to end this. With the, so right now, she's like, uh, like just a tight little hint of a smile there. Um, you know, I will, it's up to you. I'll give it some some sort of... Like she, it's a concerned look. You know, she, it's a mother, so she's going to be worried. That's kind of the direction I would go. Um, anything away from this current, like, uh, smiley face. Um, because you are ending on that pose, and it's a long-held pose as well. Right? If I'm scrubbing through, like, that's the whole time there. Um, just think about how you want the audience to perceive her. 
How much is she wearing? How much is this like an interrogation? But having the a little exhale, like you have this great breathing at the beginning, in the first shot, you can bring that into this guy as well. Just again. I think the lower lip in its current stage is a bit too poppy. I feel there's a lot of in and out and and lower lip stuff that you can you can soften or take out. It feels a bit too like you're hitting every note. Friends are supposed to make you feel. Friends are supposed to make you feel good. Like I would go with these three big ones. Friends, friends are supposed to make you feel good. Friends, yeah, she does a lot of stuff here, but friends are supposed to make you feel feel good. Make it Muppet style. Keep it simple. She should be looking at them. Friends, friends are supposed to make you feel feel good. Keep it broad. And then having them. Like that I would really enunciate. Point of having, have like, like one favor one side, having them. And hold them. That pose. Having them. And that's like having them. And then you exhale and you open up the mouth. Something like that. Again, those are all those suggestions that I would try out. Alright. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.